Transferring and draw a vulture. Yeah, what is a vulture? It is a bird. Yeah, with small wings or really big wings? Big wings. Yeah, super big wings. And before we draw a vulture, we're going to actually write the letter V because the word vulture starts with? The letter V. Yeah, V, V, vulture. <laughs> we hope you're going to follow along with us. You need your crayons or something to draw with. And you also need some? Paper, you ready to start? Yeah. Let's first use our black crayon and we're going to write the letter V. So we're going to start over here on the top left of our paper and we're going to come down to the middle of our paper. Do you want to do that? You can start up here and then come down to the middle. Yes. And then we're going to come back up on the other side to match. You did it. There's our letter V. That's pretty simple, right? Yeah. Now we're ready to turn it into a Vulture. A vulture, a big bird. We're going to start over here and we're going to draw a circle for the head. So I'm going to draw it right here. You could draw a circle right here. Yes. And then we're going to draw a little dot in the middle for the eye. And then we're going to draw the neck. And they have really long necks. So we're going to draw a really big long neck. <laughs> we're going to start here and then all the way to the bottom of the V. Yes, and then we're going to start here and draw the other side of the neck coming up. My neck is really long. <laughs> My neck oh, is really and I like big. how thick it is too. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now let's draw the beak. We're going to draw the middle of the beak. We'll draw a curve coming out. And then we're going to draw a curve coming back to the head. And then let's draw the bottom of the beak too. There's our little vulture's head and beak and neck. <laughs> Next, let's draw the feathers around the neck. I'm going to start here and draw a bumpy line going around like this and connecting to the neck. So we can start here, draw a bumpy line that comes around like that. Yes. And then in. And then we're going to imagine it going behind the neck, coming up and connecting to the wing. So right here, you could finish drawing a couple bumps to the wing. There we go. Now let's draw the wings and the wings are huge. So we're going to draw one big feather sticking out like this. Then we're going to draw a lot more feathers coming all the way down the wing and then we're going to connect into the bumpy neckline. <laughs> so we can draw lots of feathers. There you go, into the neck. And then let's do the same thing on this side. We're going to draw the feather, big feather on the top. And you're kind of close to the edge of the paper. So we could imagine it going off and then coming back. There you go. And we could do the same thing all the way down until we connect to the neck. Yes, we did it. We finished our wings. Now let's draw the body. I'm going to draw a letter U underneath the neck feathers. So we could draw it right here, come around and back. And then we're going to draw the feet and we're going to draw them tucked under the body since our little, our big vulture is flying. <laughs> oh, and also if you have room, you could add a little line for the toes. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> kind of running out of room. <laughs> Olivia, we did it. We finished our vulture. It's not completely done though. What do we still need to do? Color it. Yes. This part will fast forward, but at the end, you can pause the video if you want to match our same coloring. You ready to fast forward? Yeah. Olivia, give me five. We did it. We finished drawing and coloring our vultures. And I love your drawing so much. Thank you. You can pause the video right now to match our same coloring. We use brown for the wings, black for the body, and kind of this red pink color for the head and neck. Yeah, we also use orange for the beak and also the feet. What else could our art friends do to their drawing? They can add a background. Oh, that would be really cool. You could draw clouds and a sky and maybe even baby vultures. Also love that we wrote the letter V before we drew our vultures. That's because the word vulture starts with the letter V. V. We hope you have fun drawing vultures. We do. And remember, it's okay if your drawings look different than ours. Both of our drawings look different, but they both turned out awesome. That's because the most important thing is to have fun and practice. Yes. Remember to have fun and practice. And we'll see you later, our friends. Goodbye. Goodbye.